Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. I'm Alisa Becerra. Del Julen is off. We begin with news out of Capitola, where protesters have shut down a business at pg and &E subcontractor this afternoon. All this over opposition to smart meters. The controversy continues to swirl over questions about health concerns and accuracy problems. The Santa Cruz County Board of Supervisors is looking into a possible ban on the devices. Action News reporter Phil Gomez is live via phone at this protest. Right now he joins us. Phil, set the scene for us. Standing on the corner of uh, 38th and Portola Avenue, they're from the group Scott Valley Neighbors against smart meters. They think smart meters are a dumb idea. Uh, they're, in, they're outside the Wellington Ener Energy Inc., which is uh, one of the subcontractors that installs the meters. And they were successful in uh, having the business shut down for the day. All 28 employees were sent home. Now, they believe that PG&E is ignoring the county and other cities' uh, plans to either place a moratorium or already have a moratorium. Uh, but PG&E denies that. But their big issue is the health concerns from the electromagnetic magnetic pulses that shoot out into the air. Now, PG&E has been installing smart meters since July. They say it's natural for people to have questions and concerns. That's why they've been holding informational meetings, like one last night in Capitola, and they plan to hold more in the future. Now, the protesters say that they're going to be out here every day until the county passes a moratorium banning smart meters. They want an emergency meeting called before the September 14th scheduled meeting regarding these smart meters. We'll just have to wait and see if that happens. All right. Thank you, Phil, for that live report. And PG&E has been dealing with smart meter controversy for months now, insisting that there is no problem. And these meters are cost effective and an efficient way to save us all money. It all sounds good. Well, we're going to check in now. Joining us live on the phone is PG&E spokesman. Jeff Smith. Jeff, um, what do you say to the claims that, that, that all these meters are inaccurate or that they're so inaccurate that uh, it's not worth installing them? Jeff, do we have you there on the phone? You, sorry, I, I, I came in and you were mid-question, so I wasn't even sure that you were talking to me. I'm sorry. Oh, no, that's okay. Let's start again. This is Jeff Smith. You're joining us live now. You're the spokesman for PG&E. You're joining us via phone. What do you say to the claims uh, that these meters are inaccurate? You know, what, we, what's, what we're really focusing on right now is there, obviously there are folks that do have some concerns about the smart meter program and our, our customers, and we're really focusing on having a dialogue with our customers about whatever their concerns may be. Um, there, you know, as, as has been mentioned, 99% of the meters are functioning as intended, but that means 1% of the meters have had some sort of an issue, and some of them have impacted customers. And so we're, our focus is on... Any customers that do have a concern, we want to make sure we talk to them, that we identify what their concern is, and that we work on resolving it with them. Customers don't contact, whether it be the media or, or the PUC or anybody, unless they've had a less than ideal customer service experience with us. And, it's, uh, and it, you know, when that happens, we have to immediately address it with our customers, and we want to continue listening and working with them. Is there anything in place um, to check these meters uh, on a basis, a regular basis, without people calling in? Uh, I, I, what do you mean by checking? I'm sorry, I'm not sure I fully understand your question. Well, is there a way to check their accuracy? Well, you know, as, as I mentioned, there, in the, we have, there's, there's a variety of side-by-side -side tests, for example, that, that are going on, and, and we've done those throughout our service territory, and we've posted those results on our website, and really the kind of the purpose of the side-by-side -side test was to measure the uh, how the meters were measuring electricity of both a traditional analog meter as well as a smart meter and so there we've done several of those several hundred of those tests already and posted the results on our website and we will continue to do, do some additional tests side-by-side -side tests and really what that does is it's an opportunity for us to show what, how the traditional meters are measuring the electricity, how the smart meters are measuring electricity, and what those tests have demonstrated is that the message, excuse me, the measuring is, is comparable. And here, these people also mentioned the protesters today, health concerns. Are there any? Anytime there is a new technology that is, that is coming forward, 
it, it is absolutely responsible for customers of ours to have questions and ask questions about, about that technology, and it's our responsibility to answer those questions from our customers. The World Health Organization has done studies on this and have indicated that there is no immediate health risk, but for our customers that do have that concern, we want to talk to them because we want to go, go through the data with them. We want to talk to them about their concerns, and we want to see they're our customers, and so it's important to us that we work with them, whatever their concerns may be, and that we, we try and find a ways, to, ways to resolve whatever their concerns are. All right. Jeff Smith, thank you so much for joining us via phone. We appreciate your time. Thank you. You have a good day.